So for me, what is old is new again. For my grandparents' generation, keeping a diary was something that was just done. My recollection of what they did mostly was journal daily events. For example, what the weather was like, who visited, and, and so on. My paternal grandfather faithfully kept a diary for most of his adult life. When you started routinely practicing meditation, was it initially easy for you? How has your meditation changed as your practice has grown over time? For me, starting a Dharma journal was like starting a pra to practice meditation. I had dabbled in the past by keeping a journal, but I had stopped some time ago. After I became a one Buddhist, though, I heard many times that keeping a journal is important. Therefore, I chose to start practice the practice again to learn how it might benefit me as a Buddhist practitioner. This morning, I wish to share with you a little about my journaling journey and show how it has benefited me. Founding Master Sotasan shares four reasons to keep a daily diary in the scriptures. Two of the reasons that the Founding Master shares resonates with me. The first reason that I identify with Founding Master Sotasan, quoting, the idea behind having practitioners keep a record of the handling of the function of their bodies and minds is so that we may appraise our right and wrong conduct for the day and know the balance of the transgressions or merits we may have made and to illuminate the right and the wrong, benefit or harm, so as to gain the ability to make choices whenever we engage in any kind of activity. The second reason is, the idea behind having practitioners keep a record of their awakening and impressions are that they may assess or progress in understanding the principles of a great and small being and non-being involved in them. These thoughts are also echoed in an article written by Grace Song Kimonim, which states, keeping a daily diary means having practitioners record whether the day their handling of affairs was a mindful or unmindful, the state of their study, and whether or not they transgressed the precepts. We all process thoughts, ideas, experiences in different ways. Some of the times we just do it in our heads, but there may be some benefit in doing it and writing it down routinely in our daily lives. So consequently, in preparing for this Dharma talk, I did a literature search to help prepare for it. Several of the articles that I had found documented the benefits of journaling. Journaling can help deal, one deal with stress, anxiety, and depression. It may even help you heal more quickly. So for this and other reasons is why I journal. It is part of my morning routine of meditation and scripture reading. One benefit, benefit I get is, is that it's a way to force myself to pause and review something that has transpired. It could be negative or positive, a condition, but by keeping the diary, I can prepare myself when conditions in the future arise and use what I have learned or reflected upon as being a one Buddhist. It is easy to reflect on negative conditions because of all the, the thoughts, feelings, and et cetera, it elicits, it elicits within us. It is equally important, though, that we should also reflect and journal and think about positive conditions because we need to be looking at what attachments do we have to what happened in this positive condition and what may it lead us to. Whether negative or positive, reflecting and writing about it can help us learn how to scrutinize what transpired and lead us to a search for the underlying attachments, thoughts, feelings we might have. To start to unravel what has transpired in the past and how we might make changes for the future. This can be scary and hard. I know, I'm living it. Before becoming a one Buddhist, I did not feel I dared to look inside myself and discover ways to cultivate my mind. Founding Master Sotasan's scripture, the Cumanims, and the Sangha 
have helped me to find courage and skill to dedicate myself to journaling. My advice to you is to first start with baby steps. Start with what you feel comfortable with and develop from there. I've been doing journaling for regularly for about three years now, and how I journal has changed over the past time, and it's evolved. From her tricycle article, Grace Song Kimonim offers some additional advice. One powerful advice of the mindful journey is to practice of stopping and identifying the trigger of a disturbance and the thoughts or emotions that arise in that moment. We often fail to recognize when a disturbance happens, especially when we're on autopilot and can't stop to take inventory of the cause of the complicated emotions. But when we fail to pause in a challenging situation, it's easy to revert to old patterns and react to negative thoughts of overpowering feelings. Consistent, mindful journaling helps us to develop the strength to cease reacting to situations that provoke us. In one Buddhism, one way that we can put into practice what Reverend Grace is saying is the threefold practice. The threefold practice in one Buddhism is cultivating spirit, inquiry into facts and principles, and choice in action. Among these three practicing, practice subjects, journaling is one way to cultivate wisdom through inquiry into facts and principles. I've recently started a new practice in journaling within the last month or two to reflect and write down how I used the threefold practice with a condition that arose on the previous day. I start thinking about how I cultivated the spirit using the word samadhi. I then write down what I did or did not do to have a meditative pause during the instance. I reflect on my inquiry of what happened by writing down the word prajna. I wish to learn and record if my natural wisdom was used and what to extent. Reviewing it again, was there something different in how I could have done this part? Of the practice. Finally, I reflect on the choice in action by writing the word sila to evaluate if I have done thought, have had the right thought, right speech, and right actions. Again, what, if anything, could I have done differently in the future or do differently in the future? Along with using the threefold practice, I identify the underlying causes of the thoughts and feelings I might have to examine and unravel them. What in my past may help to elicit these thoughts and feelings? What can I do differently the next time to have a different outcome? Also to use or have tumbling thoughts to look at whatever, what happened from another's perspective. I also now choose to end my week by reflecting on what happened during the week and the writing a summary using uh, Samadhi, Prajna, and Sila to re reflect and review the week of the past. There are other ways that I use my journal and it may not always be self-reflection. As I mentioned, my morning routine consists of meditation, reading, and journaling. If I find what I read to have a special meaning, I will note it in my journal so that I may go back another time to read it again. I have started to reread the founding master Soda San's scripture. The journal is a good way for me to learn what growth I have made in my journey as a Wan Buddhist. What passage did I cite in the past? What do I cite now? Have my thoughts or feelings about the passages changed since the last time I read them? Admittedly, I don't do this as much as I did in the past. The main reason is, is because now I re I'm doing much more reflection. Another aspect of reflection that I oftentimes do and write in my journal is what I'm doing right now, is the Dharma talks that the Kimo Nims or, or Sangha members may give. You know, think about them during the day, Sunday afternoon, and yes, that's one way to process and kind of integrate it into myself, but then also by journaling it, I'm also, and writing it down, I'm also kind of memorializing it and making it a little bit more permanent as well and helps me think through a little bit more about it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be all inner reflection for cultivation and growth pr purposes. Your journal is a place to celebrate your successes, to document your progress. 
Here's an example of how I documented progress in my journal recently. This is something that, and I want to share with you now. A quote from me <laughs> and from my journal. I'm going to have a conversation with someone today that may trigger some negative perceptions, impulses, etc. in me due to prior interactions with this person. I reflected on what I wrote actually a year or more ago, two years ago, about another difficult conversation that I was going to have at that time. Because of my practice, I'm able today to allow my original mind, for the most part, to guide me in the conversation. The conversation that I had with this person went great, actually, and I do credit that a lot to my practice and the ways that I practice One Buddhism. Another value of found in journaling is to periodically, every six months or so, whatever you feel like, go back and, and read what I wrote six months, a year, two years ago. What has changed? Have I made any positive changes? Am I stuck on thinking or doing something and need to make a change? Who can help me progress in my cultivation? Now that I've started using the threefold practice to reflect, reflect on what has happened during an instance or on a weekly basis, I'm looking forward to reading in the future what I wrote using this me new method of journaling and see and gauge what, what, if any, progress I've made in cultivating my practice. I also use my journal to write down thoughts that I've have thoughts I have had the, that need further investigation, such as the thought I had not too long ago about me and not me. And we've all heard this a lot of different ways, but it dawned on me that letting go of my delusions and ego, the me, and being in the original mind is not me. And I've also thought about using this as a mantra as well while I'm meditating. To conclude, I found my experience in starting and keeping a Dharma journal is similar to when I started to meditate. I first needed the motivation to start to routinely practice meditation. Once I started, I dedicated myself to practicing meditation every day. I have routinely meditated for five years now. It is my meditation practice. Has my meditation practice changed in five years? I would say so, hopefully for the better. <clears throat> I learned that meditation does work and help. However, this is meditation the only practice that may help me grow and improve. Meditation was the starting place, though, but also a motivation for me to start journaling. Once again, I dedicated myself to routinely keep a Dharma journal. I've been, as I said before, I've been journaling for about three years now. I hope I've demonstrated to you during this talk that my journaling practice has changed over time, continues to benefit me more and more. I do feel that journaling has helped me to grow and improve my overall practice. So, what do you think? Is keeping a daily journal something that you might want to start as part of your daily routine? Thank you. Mm -hmm.